So the next one I want to highlight is actually using the social bookmarking submission tool. This is going to require the same exact process that we've done in all the other tools up to this point. So to create a social bookmark submission, you have to go through sample account creation. So within sample account creation, I've already done this. So if I click on social bookmarks, you can see that I've submitted to a number of these. There's a total of 974, and I have something like 10 or 15 of them already created. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I've already done this part of it. So now let's just go ahead and actually do the submission itself. Itself. So make sure that within the profile that you have selected that you have some sites already set up with usernames and passwords. So I'll close that out and then I want to go into new submission and we want to do social bookmarks. So I'm going to rename this to social submission. Okay. So I'll double click that and again make sure that we have new profile too. Now I want to set up specific URLs for this just so I can actually track the effectiveness of it. So I'm going to close this out again and go back to URL list, create a new URL list and then I'm going to rename that so this is my social bookmark URLs. So within my social bookmark submission project New Profiles too. that's where I have my usernames and passwords. I'm going to set my output to social bookmark URLs. So from my social bookmarks, I'm going to unselect everything, and I'm just going to go through and select the ones that I want to submit to for this demonstration where I have usernames and passwords. Okay, so I have those selected. Now I want to go to Submit Information. Now this is a little bit different. When you do submit for social bookmarks, we're suggesting that you only use something like a paragraph's worth of text. So I'm going to go ahead and just steal this paragraph on golf shoes. So I'll do that. I'm going to paste that in here. And then I'm going to take the title and put that here. Okay, so I have a new pair of golf shoes for my title. I want to do golf shoes as one keyword. I'm going to say golf cleats. And then we'll do golf spikes as another keyword. But then I'm also going to spin my title to include spikes. and cleats. Okay, so I have my paragraph of text here. Again, if you go over a paragraph, submission rates tend to drop off a bit. So keep this limited to a paragraph. I have my keywords. You can spin in your keywords if you want to, but I didn't feel like it was necessary here. And I have my title with my spin tags in it. Now the last thing that I want to add here is my URL and I want to add this in the same format that you would if you're just typing in anywhere else. There's no href tags, there's no any no spin tags, there's no anchor text here. So I'm going to have golfsite.com. So here's my URL, here's my text. You can add spinnable content within your text itself. So if you want to have um, golf shoes, cleats, spikes again, let's just do this. Okay, so I have some spinnable text here. I can preview, new pair of golf spikes, shoe spikes, golf shoes to wear, then you see that. Preview again, you can see it changes. Preview again, you can see it changes. Okay, so I've covered my bases here. I have my content, only one paragraph. I have my URL, I have my title, and I have my keywords. So I think I'm good to go here. Everything is in place. I have my URLs and I have my profile. So all I need here is just to hit start and let Backlink Beast do its work. So in a couple of minutes time, I'll show you the output and you can see exactly what we've gotten from this quick couple minute submission process. So my submission's done. I got 10 of the 13. Three of them did not go through, so I can go back, close this out. If I look at my URL list, I can see my social bookmark URLs. Here's the actual submissions. So let's grab this one. And here's the actual submission. You can see there's the URL, a pair of golf shoes, there's the text that I added here, and we're good as done. There, the entire list is here, so you can actually see where all of those went. So there's another 10 backlinks for you in 
what was that, about five to ten minutes time. So it's just as easy as actually following all these steps and keeping on plowing through and doing all these submissions and then you can keep getting those backlinks which are really, really going to drive up your rank. So in the next video we're going to talk about doing this with PDF sharing websites.